We're here on a landscape job, and I want to talk about the temptation to say, fuck it, and, you know, put a quick band-aid on something if you mess something up in a landscape job. That's where I'm getting at. You always got to fix it. It's the little things that will bite you in the ass so hard, and you'll be going back on a Sunday till dark fixing it. So, for instance, we're here on this landscape job right now, pretty big job, six-day job, and we're installing all this black aluminum edging. It's kind of wobbly when we put all the stones and bag everything down, it'll be straight. But anyways, I'm carving out the trench here, just making progress. Oops, <laughs> I hit the sprinkler line, and it started spraying out. And I'm like, damn it. When you do landscaping, if you don't know how to do sprinkler repairs and stuff like that, you're going to learn, and you're going to learn the hard way if you don't already know how to do it, and it's going to be frustrating. So you're going to eventually get, end up getting a toolbox that you put all your sprinkler repair parts and supplies in. You'll have your own little sprinkler repair toolkit, just like a spare tire repair toolkit. So as soon as I hit that thing, the temptation was... Oh, I just put some plumber's tape and some caulk on there, and I'll wrap the band around it and tighten it. It'll be good, right? And I really was, you know, smoking my own brochures. <laughs> Mike, uh, I got a coach, Rob. He's a genius. But he says he's smoking his own brochures. I was filling my own head full of garbage thinking that's not going to leak. I know deep down inside that the, pot the potential for that to leak after we leave, there's still a percentage there. So I said, nope. Even though I want to get the hell out of this job and get it done, and I'm frustrated, go to the hardware store, get the parts you need, run all over the place, and you got to get, uh, I can't think of the name, a buck connector that goes in both sides here. I put plumber's tape just in case. These two ratchet strap bands tighten down to the max and bang it in with a rubber mallet and do a completely proper repair and test it before you finish installing always fix anything if you mess it up because it's the little things that will bite you in the ass so hard and you know what they are they'll be like a little splinter in your side and if you ignore it especially in business it'll bite you and that's the thing i like about being a business is because you have to be a hundred percent responsible and accountable and what it teaches you is i mean from my perspective i went to college for a few years and i learned way more at being in real business than i did in college so yeah. All right. So, don't don't sweat the small stuff, but don't skip the small stuff either. So, all right. Go back to work. Keep calphus. Oh yeah. Um, my buddy told me about a YouTube channel of a fellow landscaper. This guy's doing some real great things, and his name is Geek to Freak Fitness. So I go and I check out his channel, and I was like, you know, you know, wow. I was impressed because he, the guy's so genuine and he's, he's authentic and he, he's, he's really about, you know, putting great information out there. You should check him out, Geek to Freak Fitness. You pop, as soon as you type in, he'll pop right up on YouTube. I don't really sit around, I don't have time to watch YouTube, but I find myself with my wife watching his videos for like an hour and learning some cool stuff. So I'll put a link in the bottom of the description box and go check him out. You're going to get a lot of value out of it. All right, bye.